Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. So Michael B. Jordan is going to be making his directorial debut, and that is going to be in Creed 3. Not only is he directing, but he's also starring in it. And that will be released in theaters November 23rd, 2022, by the way. All right, I'm here for that. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Creed franchise, and I'm going to tell you something. They got a Creed virtual reality game where you can put on the VR glasses. Those are dope. And yeah, I play it. And you can be Adonis Jordan. Oh, my God, boy. Amazing. <laughs> Envy, I'm looking forward to you crying on a flight again. Oh boy, but it, with that VR game, it tired you out fast. Well, I was it tired does. as hell playing it that does. game. <laughs> it does. It's great though. All right, now Mr. C sat down with Mano on Mano's podcast, and ooh, this is okay. First of all, this was like an educational lesson for Mano to learn about the right <laughs> verbiage, right? And just to, uh, it was a mess. But listen to this. Oh, well, people thought you like that- trannies though. Yeah, that's what I do, bro. That's you know what you me. Do. You know what I do. That's what I do. It's, it's well documented. you like in trannies, do you consider yourself a gay man? I consider myself trisexual. I'll try anything. Okay. Hey, I respect it. I, th- the only thing I've done with transsexuals is that I got top head from a transsexual. I've never had never sex. Went, you never I never in. had. I never penetrated. Never hit a, a nigga. No. <laughs> never, never hit a nigga. No. Hit a nigga. Never. No. 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 Let's let's unpack this, man. As my what, therapist what would say. First of all, I'm happy for Mr. C. Okay, mm-hmm. he's free. And what he's because I listened to that yesterday. What he said on Mano's because I like Kitchen. I love Kitchen Talk. What he said on Mano's podcast yesterday was true. If that's all you can say about him, so what? He's living his truth. I respect it. Be free, Mr. C. Be free. And you know, Mr. C. I know he's always forever mad at me, but you know, just know every, everything you're doing now is what I told you to do back then. Be free. They can't use anything against you when you live in your truth. So I respect it. I'm happy for Mr. C. But now he's in, right, a, in well, a position he, where he can be free. We got some more. We got some more with Mr. C. and Mano on a Kitchen Talk podcast. Because this footage, right, it, where it's like this dude tapes you, right, right, and y'all like haggling over the prices of head, right. So it's like. Well, let me let me, let me correct you. It wasn't a dude that taped me. Right. It was a transsexual okay, woman. Wait, okay, it's a transsexual. I don't, want them to, I don't want them to get at you. Don't get at me. It was a transsexual woman that I, taped me. It was okay. not a man. Okay, I don't understand all this shit. But I'm, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. You, this, you, you want to learn yeah, from the master? Like, so what I'm asking you is that my question is like, do you, do you, do you prefer that it's a, a man, that looks, a like man a woman? that used to be, that looks like a woman or? Mano, Mano, Mano. Stop being difficult. <laughs> that's what a transsexual woman is. So that, it's, that, it's a man that's dressed like a woman. Right, but that, is that what you like, though? Yes. <laughs> Listen, the man is free, and he sounds so confident. When I gave Mr. C Donkey of the Day back in the day, it wasn't because of you know who he chose to engage in sexual acts with. His sexuality was not a crime. It's the w- it was the way he was choosing to go about doing it. What he was doing, the way he was going about getting it was illegal, and he ended up getting arrested like three times. And Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different yeah. results. Okay, but maybe and, he wasn't ready at that time to. Yeah, you know, sometimes to it, he's taking that. some time to process it. You know, it's not good to just out people's sexual lives like that. Oh, when no, not no, 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 no. We didn't out nothing. He got arrested three times. I know. No, we didn't out I, his life. I'm saying that's why he wasn't comfortable. I didn't say we did that. Oh. I'm just saying he wasn't comfortable with discussing it yet. Now maybe he's got, you know, people are more educated than they were back then. And all, well, he's, although, well, he said he was judging always from this nervous. Podcast, we still have work to do. And but, all, he said he was always nervous because he knew that Charlemagne and Wendy Williams knew. I didn't he know was nothing. Always, How would I know? Because well, I think she, I think when one time when y'all were doing the show, I think maybe she teased that she knew a situation and knew a popular DJ, and I had he no, always I had, thought it was going to come out. So I, had, I think he was nervous. Yeah, I had no idea well, what she was talking about. But you know, like I said back then, instead of being a serial purchaser of penis on the street, get you an apartment and a significant other. If that's your thing, I am happy for Mister C that he is free. I'm happy for him. Well, I saw my girl Sydney Starr in the comments, and she is asking Mano to let her on the show. Mano, I hope you decide to have Sydney Starr come on. And y'all can't be mad at Mano either, yo, because he doesn't know the language. You know what I'm saying? Mano, actually, that's the way those conversations need to happen. Mano needs to have that conversation the way he was having that conversation, and Mr. C needs to explain it to him the way he was explaining it to him. And then you bring in another expert, like like somebody like David Johns, because I saw David Johns talking about it this morning, and you let David Johns do all the tech the technical, intellectual, you know, talk around that 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 situation. 
But yeah, I love Mano, but Mano, you knew what you were about to talk about. Do a little research so you know, because you yeah, know it's just a very know sensitive that, topic. You just don't know. And you can't think... just have a guest on and, and not but do a little bit of, okay, let me make, because you everybody knows right now see? that you can no. say the wrong thing. But that's the thing. Yeah, but... if, and, and if I say the wrong thing, correct it's your me. job to correct that's me it. if you are there. And that's like... fine, but but I do feel like you do have to do a little prep when it comes to this. No, if you that's don't why we're doing the interview. That's the reason why you're here to talk to me, so you can explain and let me know. Like that. That's the reason. It is you go online there's so many things that they tell you you can say you can't say no now i'm here with somebody who lives the lifestyle that That's can explain right. it to me in person mano wasn't attacking mr c they was having a no. conversation and, they, and by the way they two brooklyn niggas at the end of the day don't act like mr c not a nigga you no, know they peoples saying? they are peoples <laughs> so they, they they was having a conversation the way two brooklyn niggas should talk i i i, I, I enjoyed it. it i thought it was very i thought it was very educational on a lot of levels and I, like i said i'm happy for mr c all right. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Well, let's keep it in the Mr. C rain. All right. Now, um, shout to Notorious B.I.G. The uh, the anniversary of, of his passing was uh, a couple of days ago, March 9th. And the family does not want to celebrate the anniversary of his death. So we did not do a mix. So we decided to just do a mix to celebrate him today. It has nothing to do with Yay, his anniversary. Let's go just to celebrate B.I.G. And Mr. C, you know, was one of the people that, that got Biggie his deal. So uh, let's do a Biggie mix. Let me know your favorite Biggie joint. Let's get into it. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning, Revolt. We'll see y'all on Monday.